let's have a look at some of the things we can do with Amadeus Pro. Primarily, let's have a look in the effects part of this. Let's go for the five band equaliser and see what we come up with. See how that changed that. Hello and welcome to Caster Microphone. And today I'm going to have a look at the iRig microphone for iPad. So that's what it sounds like after the thing was added to it. The waveform got smaller when I brought it back to what it was before. Hello and welcome to Caster Microphone. And today I'm going to have a look at the iRig microphone for. You can tell that the sound is a little bit thinner if it doesn't have that five band equalizer effect put to it. You get to the five band equalizer effect by going to the equalizers and you got a choice of three band, five band or ten band. Right, let's pick up the ten band equalizer. So you could move a couple of these things up to uh, get the sort of sound that you're looking for. What you can do as well is you can uh, preview the sound as you're doing these things so you can get an idea of uh, what these uh, sliders are doing when you're changing them. Hello and welcome to Caster Microphone and today I'm going to have a look at the iRig microphone for iPad. In this iRig microphone review we'll have a look at some of the software and see what you can do and how you can record using this excellent inexpensive microphone. If you want to you can do a bypass of the effect there so you just plug it into your iPad. Let's apply that one and see what happens. There's a couple of different softwares that you can. As you see the application works and very quickly you get your new sound in front of you. Let's do Command Z on that to bring it back to it as it was before. Let's have a look at something else we could do. Let's do, go for some of the audio units. The dynamic processor can be quite interesting to use on voice as can the multiband compressor. Let's try the multiband compressor and see what that brings up for us. We can choose some different presets there. We might go for fast and smooth or we might go for sub control or analog or gentle. And depending on what you choose there, you get different effects in this area here. Let's get a preview of it. Hello and welcome to Caster Microphone. And today I'm going to have a look at the... And let's go for the sub control, see what that does. Doesn't seem to make a lot of difference in the little graph that we got there, does it? But still. And uh, let's go for gentle. Hello and welcome to Caster Microphone. And today I will apply that, see what happens. And you can see with this one what he's done, he's actually reduced the volume of the sound uh, overall. Hello and welcome to So that's uh, one of the effects that we do. But what you could do is if it's brought the volume down like this, is that you can go back into effect and go to amplify and tell it to amplify maybe by say let's say eight decibels and we'll apply that. Hello and welcome to Caster Microphone. So that's something you can do there quite easily there. Let's go back into effect again, go back to the audio units and we'll go for AU distortion this time. This time we could choose something silly like uh, speech alien chatter. Let's preview that. <laughs> totally unlistenable but uh, that's alien chatter for you. We could go to multi decimated one. Let's try that out and see what that gives us. Again, completely unusable. But you might go for something like uh, Radio Tower. Let's try that one. Hello and welcome to Caster Microphone. And today I'm going to have a look at the iRig microphone for iPad. In this iRig microphone review, we'll have a look at some of the software. That's without the effects. And see what you can do. And that's with the effects. And how you can record it using this. I don't think we'll apply that one. And there's various things that you can do here that are more suitable for doing something with uh, music. Let's go for cell phone concert and see what that comes up with. Hello and welcome to Caster Microphone. And today I'm going to have a look at the iRig microphone for iPad. And we'll cancel out of all of that. Let's go back to effects again and see what else we've got. We've got more audio units effects. These are all the same effects that you get available in the garage band. All the Apple effects that you have. We've got a graphic EQ there. It's the same as we had before really, except that you've just got a different uh, pattern there. It doesn't come with any presets. You have to actually make save your, some of your own. Let's just take the, that up there, change some of these around, preview that. Hello and welcome to Caster Microphone. And today I'm going to have a look at the iRig microphone for that sounds like we're talking from inside a wardrobe. Flatten the EQ. Hello and welcome to Caster Microphone. And today I'm so there's an awful lot of things you can do with these things here and really depends upon the sort of sound that you want as to which you are going to actually choose to use. 
and it is possible also to get to the audio units by clicking this bit here and we can choose maybe we want to go for a low shell filter so that does and change the uh, shape of that there and let's play that now see what happens i'm going to have a look at the irig microphone in this irig microphone review we'll have a look at some of the software and see what you can do and how you can record using this excellent inexpensive microphone you just plug it into your ipad and it also gives you a socket that you can plug in so you can see by adding these things here it gives you some different effects and also what you can do is you can layer effects one on top of another so for instance you might decide to use that and go for a low pass filter as well let's uh, start this playing there's a couple of different softwares that you can use but it comes with some software called Vocal Live. so that's with that effect applied as well if you want to see what they look like or the sound like without the effects just uh, turn them off if you want to that's with the filters back on again then you might and if I click on this button here it brings me up this uh, very these filters that we have that's how you can add filters and effects to your sounds we'll have a look at some more things to do with Amadeus Pro in another video now if you haven't done so already go and click on the like button to like this video if you have found it any use at all and why don't you subscribe to the channel so that any time I bring something new out you'll be the first to hear about it. Bye bye now. Until next time.